So what we're going to talk about here is that we do have uh, still some heavy lake effect around parts of Michigan. The northwest lower Michigan, Antrim County, Kalkaska County, in toward Gaylord, you're going to find just about as heavy a snow as you've had all winter in lake effect. This is probably uh, one of our, maybe our first, if I can remember, dominant band lake effect situations where you have this one band that's uh, really strong. Hey, good morning, Dent J. Gabby from Saginaw. Hey, Tim Hall from Central Florida, you lucky dog, you. And good morning, Karen Costamo and Steve Byla from Chesney. Hopefully I got that right. All right, so then we'll look at the weekend weather, and we do have warmer weather on the way, too, and I'll show you that. We're going to start with the radar. First off, you can see the dominant band of heavy lake effect, like I said, in the east side of Traverse City up through much of uh, all of Antrim County, all most of Charlevoix County, and then down to the trailing of the southeast, even into the northeast part of the state, the sunrise side. Some snow showers still off of Lake Michigan in the southwest corner. You're going to find snowy roads there. That will break down, it looks like, this afternoon. If anybody's in that southwest part uh, along uh, 196 or US 31, or 94, let us know what it's like down in there. Uh, Grand Haven, Holland, uh, Benton Harbor, St. Joe, uh, Kalamazoo, Battle Creek area, let us know. Hey, good morning, Beth Kirshner from Tennessee. Um, and you see the weather in Illinois, some of that is snow and moving down to, into Indiana and Kentucky and Tennessee. So a winter weather advisory in effect there today. If you're traveling south, just be aware. It's not heavy by Michigan standards. It's one, two, uh, maybe three inches of snow, but they don't know how to drive on that stuff, do they? So here's where our advisories are in effect right now. We have uh, the, the pinkish, purplish area. Those are winter storm warnings. Kalkaska and Antrim County, otherwise surrounded by winter weather advisories. And Southwest Lower, you're not in any sort of advisory, but uh, do be advised that you do have wintry weather around Southwest Lower with the lake effect snow. All right, now let's give you an overview of what is going to happen here. And we'll start with now. Okay, remember. See that storm that's to our northeast and the circulation around it? That's why the lake effect is continuing. A lot of people think the lake effect snow forecast is just so simple, cold air over warm water. No, we've learned a lot over the last 20 years. Um, one of those things is, is there cyclonic flow around a main low pressure system? That really helps support the lake effect, and there is. We're into this afternoon. We're into this evening, still going in the northeast uh, third of Lower Michigan and in the Eastern UP. And then as we get through the night tonight, that breaks down. Notice it's not coincidental that it breaks down when the cyclonic flow starts to break down. And tomorrow as the cyclonic flow is gone, the snow is gone and the sun should come out. And then notice the red lines. Remember that first red line is temperatures above the freezing mark. And then subsequent lines Behind that to the southwest are warmer and warmer temperatures. So we're into Sunday morning, and now we're into Sunday afternoon and evening. So the warmth bursts into the area on Sunday. Originally, I was uh, thinking that um, we would make it in the 50s on Sunday, but now I tempered that back, and reality hit me. Hey, we just had a fresh five, six inches of new snow, and that's what the air is blowing across. So needs to melt that stuff. But nonetheless, it is a warmer temperature. And let's just keep going. And my long story short on the next week is it's a stormy week, but we're not sure just yet, you and I, if the, there's about three pieces to a storm. We're not sure if those are all going to hit Michigan. Uh, we're into Monday and Tuesday and see all the rain just to our south and the storminess. Now, this is Wednesday, and we'd eventually get on the cold side and rain would change over to snow. And then this is Friday with another little piece and a burst of what this model, the European, says is snow. And then we'll have a little fun. We're going to take this all the way out to the end of it, 10 days out. I don't necessarily believe it at 10 days out, 
But, um, hey, Jim McGuire, Punta Gorda, 50 degrees. That sounds wonderful here and chilly down there. This is 10 days out. This is March 9th. Again, I don't, March 8th, I'm sorry. I don't necessarily believe it totally, but look at the warmth. And this is what I'm seeing. Every time the warmth tries to make another move at Michigan, it's a little warmer and it's overtaking the cold air. And that's why I still lean toward we're going to have an earlier spring versus a flip-flop back to winter. I find it real hard to imagine a anomaly, an abnormally cold blob of air that will build up now and come at us. It's not to say we can't have some cold days, certainly, but I think the warmth is more dominant than the cold. I think it could be really interesting by the time we get to late March, early April. We might be saying, wow, hey, this is over. So every one of these new warm-ups uh, just is kind of a nail in the coffin for winter. All righty. So these are the temperatures, high temperatures. Bear with me here. High temperatures for the next seven days. Today, it's a cold day. Temperatures in the 20s. Tomorrow is going to be interesting. High temperature about 32 degrees in a lot of spots. But with sunshine, I'll bet you guess that it's 40 degrees. So that is the nice thing, too. That sunshine, even at 32, will help the roads immensely, those side roads that have been uh, drifted over and iced over in the wind and the snow the past couple of days. Here's Sunday. Obviously, we'll take care of anything on the roads by then with temperatures in the 40s. And Monday in the 40s, Tuesday in the 40s, Wednesday in the 40s, Thursday in the 40s. Hey, someone's dog is shedding like crazy. Carrie Schenf, a <laughs> good sign spring is coming, shedding like crazy there. And I'll leave you just with one thing. Let's just have some fun. How does this sound? We're going to take a look at that same model that forecasted the warm-up toward the end. It's the European model. The U.S. model, GFS, shows it almost the same. This is just a fun look. This is 10 days out, high temperatures expected. Uh, this would be Sunday, March 8th. And look at look at what this model does. I showed you the warmth. And again, if that were to verify, what I would see on that model would be a 60 degree temperature. So, ah, you know what? I love winter, but time we get to March 1st, <laughs> yeah, I'm done with it. So I'm getting, I'm jumping in on the spring lover side and we're, we're going to go for that. And I do think that it may definitely work out for us uh, on early spring. Okay, so what you have is you still have some very, very nasty, heart of winter, snowy travels, northwest lower Michigan, Traverse City, north to Charlevoix, to Mackinac Bridge, over to Gaylord and Grayling along I-75, eastern UP is snowy, southwest lower is snowy, you can find some slick roads, be careful there, that all breaks down tonight, we're back to sunshine tomorrow, we're back to warmer temperatures after that. And we'll keep you updated on next week's possibility of 